After a wait that took a little longer than it should, we finally got our trailer for wave 6 of the Booster Course Pass. And yeah, this might be the best wave we've ever gotten. To start with, it's Wii Rainbow Road. Shocker, I know. Even though that pretty much all of us knew that Wii Rainbow Road was coming to the game for like, what, a year now? It's still amazing to see this track in the game now. Especially for me, as Mario Kart Wii was the very first game that I ever played in my life. And, <laughs> yeah, this might have been a little bit of a nostalgic trip for me. It looks absolutely stunning. I don't think it looks as good as 3DS Rainbow Road, but still, it's up there for one of the best looking tracks in the game. The fact that it has the same palette and road pattern as the original Wii is just utterly magical. Heck, it actually fixes some of the problems of Howitzen and Tor. The circular rings in the middle of the track have the ramps. Thank God, I was kind of missing those. The gap cut is possible, so no more invisible walls like in Tour. I don't think the track is one lap anymore, which, thank God, I honestly kind of hated that in the Tour version of the game. And uh, again, the visual glow up this track got, like, it's absolutely insane. So, yeah, I'm really happy this track got in, even if I knew full well that it was already in the game. The next one is much more expected, Madrid Drive. I think of the tracks in here, this one is the most visually unappealing, but that's kind of stretching it because this track still looks pretty good. Though, still, it looks kind of rough in some areas. I like Madrid Drive. I think it has some interesting locations in the original tour release. So, yeah, glad to see it here. DK Mountain. Dear God, finally this debate is over. For months on end, it was just either DK Mountain or Dino Dino Jungle. Secretly, I've honestly been wanting DK Mountain the most. I mean, I'm a wee kid, of course I'd want it. But also, I just think that DK Mountain is just the better track. And this got a noticeable glow up as well. Especially the mountain. I love how angry it looks in this version. Like, it just... It just looks even more pissed off than the one in the Wii. So, yeah, glad it's here. Of course, Daisy Circuit. I'm sure you know how excited I am for it. But then we get to Piranha Plant Cove. It's not my favorite tour, Nitro, but it's up there. It is an amazing course. And it looks just as visually appealing as a base 8 track, which is very surprising. I would imagine if you're not into underwater tracks, this wouldn't be that fun, but still, it's a pretty good track. I honestly can't wait to play this in 8 Deluxe. And then we got Bowser Castle 3. Another one we pretty much knew was gonna happen. I mean, just look at it. Of course it was gonna be an 8 Deluxe. But, wow, I am utterly impressed of how it looks. Usually the SNES tracks are the more underwhelming uh, tracks visually, especially Mario Circuit 3 from Wave 2, but uh, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. At least how much gorgeous a Bowser Castle can get. Like, I, this looks on quality of base 8. It, it's honestly comparable to the Bowser's Castle we have in base 8. I honestly can't wait to play this. This is probably one of my favorite Bowser's Castles ever. At least when I played it back in Tor. And then we get Romo Vonzi. Again, another city track. And one that I'm... Not exactly too excited for, but I did like the one in Tor enough, especially whenever you go through the Colosseum, whether it's on the top or with the chain chomps. But of course, we finally get our final track to ever be revealed Piranha Plant Pipe. Uh, uh, uh. uh yeah, this is without a doubt the biggest surprise in this entire Booster Course Pass. Keep this in mind, in the prefix leak, we knew for a whole year that there was not another 3DS one that has been mentioned at all. The most we knew is that there was three 3DS courses, with the final one being, well, 3DS Rainbow Road. The fact that Rosalina's Ice World is here is just bizarre. And it's weirder because we were supposed to get another GCN course in this wave. So, uh, why? I might be questioning it even more because Personally, Rosalina's Ice World is my least favorite Nitro from 7. I would have much preferred tracks like Shy Guy Bazaar, the Woohoo Island tracks, even the Bowser's Castle here, but yeah, we were gonna get the SNES one anyway. So why Rosalina's Ice World here is just really weird. I'm not gonna complain about its inclusion because Rosalina did need the track, but 
uh, whatever. I, I just hope that the 8 Deluxe version is peak, all right? It, it better it better be good, all right? And that's all the tracks that we have in the Booster Course Pass for Wave 6. And if I'm being real, this might be the best selection that we have in this entire pass. That's even with my Wave 3 bias. Mostly because of 3DS Rainbow Road, but still. This is an amazing selection and has the potential of being just absolutely incredible. I look forward to its release, even if it is the final one. As for the characters, yeah, they're all the same. Pauline, Peachette, Diddy Kong, and Funky Kong are all here. But it is interesting to know that they did reveal Pauline and Peachette's biker suit. And wow, these are a lot more interesting than I thought they were. For Peachette, they included a skirt version of her dress, which, yeah, this looks pretty good. And it's probably the best way that they could have implemented a biker suit for her. Though Pauline's, this might be my favorite one of them all. Compared to the other ones, they kind of look like track suits more than biker suits. This one looks like something that an actual motorcyclist would use. So, I'm glad it's here, and, well, it just looks fantastic. But that's not all we have. Because alongside this, we potentially have an extra 18 me suits. Uh, uh, okay. That's definitely satisfying the me factor for me. To keep this in perspective, the last time that we've gotten another me costume was all the way back when the game first came out and it gave us Inkling. And if I'm being real, it's probably the lamest one. So, this is exciting. The ones that they revealed are as follows. Daisy, Lucky Me, Toadette, Chain Chomp, Dolphin, Para Bitty Bud, Birdo, Petey Piranha, Dry Bowser, Cheep Cheep, Pokey, the Question Mark Block, and a Castle. All fantastic choices, so yeah, can't even be mad. But of course, that leads the extra six. Assuming that Daisy isn't a part of the 17, I don't know, the amount of me costumes we're actually getting is a little confusing. But if we are getting six, these are the ones that I think are going to appear. The top three are because they're playable characters and their me costumes are just generally good, and also because they're not the Koopalings, but the bottom three are but the bottom three are general themes in the other tracks, like Singapore Speedway and Merry Mountain. Though it should be interesting to know that the Santa one can be interchangeable with the reindeer one, as this is a holiday release, so you know, either way is fine. But still, great to see him here. Though as to why Waluigi, Goomba, and Piranha Plant are here, it's because Daisy is the only one that can be unlockable via an amiibo. And since Waluigi, Goomba, or Piranha Plant are not shown here, it's safe to assume that they won't appear as me costumes, as sad as that is to say. <laughs> But that is not all, as the last thing that there is to know is the fact that there is a jukebox, which means you can listen to the music anytime and anywhere. Well, we can already do it on YouTube, but, it, but it's great to see that Nintendo is actually bothering to preserve their music at all, without having to play the tracks, you know? Well, that is all that needs to be said for Wave 6 of the Booster Course Pass. I'll be doing a review of this wave just like I did for Wave 5, so stay tuned for that alongside a very special announcement that we've been cooking up for a while now. So, with that being said, I'll see you next time.